This just in, we are learning which company will help NASA build a lunar outpost. The outpost will serve as an orbiting base for astronauts similar to the International Space Station. It will serve astronauts traveling to and from the moon. New 6's James Barbero explains what this all means for the future of space. We're talking about the first humans to the moon in the 21st century. To get to the moon in just five years, NASA is calling on help from Maxar Technologies, a Colorado commercial space company. Administrator Jim Bridenstine announcing the partnership today at Florida Tech in Melbourne. NASA says Maxar will develop the power and propulsion element to Gateway, a future space station orbiting the moon that will be a base for astronauts. It gives us more access to more parts of the moon than ever before. NASA says Gateway is imperative to moon landings and ultimately missions to Mars. NASA today looking forward and also back. In July, July 20th, we will be celebrating the Apollo 11 moon landing. In the shadow of its famous launch pad, the Kennedy Space Center hosting media from around the world in honor of the upcoming 50th anniversary of Apollo 11. NASA says it will not just go back to the moon in 2024, it's going forward to the moon where science and research will keep Americans there. The Apollo generation accomplished amazing things, all right? But we want to establish the Artemis generation for our nation, for humanity, as we go back to the moon to stay. Now, of course, NASA can't go to the moon or Mars unless Congress approves the necessary funding requested by the White House. Much more on a busy day on the Space Coast coming up at 5. At NASA's Kennedy Space Center, I'm James Sparvero, getting results news 6.